Walter Ash, very welcome back to part two of the programme where we're here in Castle Bar for the official opening of the indoor markets. And I'm joined by Sandra McCormick, who's actually going to give me a guide as to all that's on offer here. And it looks absolutely fabulous. Yeah, anyway. beautiful. It's lovely now. We went to a lot of trouble this morning to make it nice and colourful. Yeah, it's oh, brilliant. And there's great buzz in It's a lovely place. atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. It's very And most atmosphere. of the people here are all craftspeople. A lot, there's a lot of craftspeople, a lot of local people here. And they, it's basically people who crafts got out of control <laughs> you spend so much on your on your crafting that you need to try and claw back a little bit so you can buy some more uh, we have a variety of we have um, Pat here who does his um, homegrown vegetables yeah. we have two vegetable people we well, have, we'll, we'll take well, a walk around okay, we'll really have a look yeah, at everything absolutely all right okay What I'm fascinated about the second row you have here, very Irish Celtic, beautiful. It's called, that's called uh, the Celtic Symbols by D. And you have a really strong, between the legs and the St. Cross. And yeah. an original St. Bridges Cross handmade inside. Beautiful. And then the range covers... And the Celtic Cross. Yeah. yeah. Celtic and you have gorgeous. And going well. Very well. Very yeah. happy with it now. It's two years on the go now. Wow. So uh, in the last year, the family trees, now the one up here, they were extremely popular. You know, they've cooled off a little bit, but still they're selling, you know, but it's good. Nice to have something different. Good, yeah. continued success. Thank you very thanks, much. Thanks to you. And this is getting very popular in Ireland now, isn't it? it? Baby showers. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I love this one here because this is a practical one. As well as Teddy, yeah. there's, there's napkins or nappies, uh, nappies, nappies underneath that. And yeah. in the honey pot then there's actually cedar cream and um, talc and, you know, it's well hidden like you wouldn't know they're in it. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And, and great interest in them, is there? It's, 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 it's getting, getting there. It's getting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's new to the market. It is, exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, look, we wish you well with it. Thank Blue you. Where, where are you based? Westport, we're based Lovely. in Westport. Okay. Well, good luck with it. Thank you very much. Uh, Mary, Julie, of course, always oh, a great yes. attraction for people. All the glitters is not gold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all costume jewellery, as you can see. Cheap and cheerful, but we like it. Yeah, and what, what are the popular items? Rings. Big range of rings. All ladies' rings. Oh, you have oh, gents' rings as well, yeah. Yeah. All yeah. The sizes. Got to want a big finger for that. <laughs> yeah. It takes a big man to fill that one. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, and, and there are other products as well, right? There is, there's cigarette lighters, there's cigarette boxes, watches, bracelets, mm. you name it. Yeah. We, we've got it all. And, and just <laughs> your, your Mary Bling. Mary Bling. <laughs> and for the indoor markets, what, what, what do you think about the indoor markets? I love it. I've been doing it now for the last two years. And it's just like a big family. Mm. We all get on so well and work well together. Mm. We start going on tours now, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're but we're you're, we're you're in Castle Bar here every Castle Bar here, in this building every Saturday from 10 until 2. Right. And everybody's more than welcome to come and join us. Great, well we wish you well with it. Thank then. you very Thanks. much. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. You're very busy here this morning. Yeah. So what's popular here and what have you got? Um, what's popular? A lot of actually the sweet ones um, would be popular, like the ghost, um, the rose actually, which is a surprising one. Everyone associates it with an older fragrance, but it's really coming back into its own now, so it is. The melts would be my best seller. So they Which would. are they now? These are all the melts here. And these are all... So we have all, we wore 60 fragrances. So we have... 
Mm. So that's Parma Violet. Do you remember the small little sugary sweets with the I love you and stuff oh, yeah, on it? Yeah. yeah, that would be very similar to that scent. So it was. Oh, lovely. Love yeah, it. so everything kind of has a memory with it. So, so you scented candles, scented candles, fragrances. We have the wax melts and then we have the little scent bags. Wow, I love these little boxes. Yeah, my little noodle boxes. So you yeah. get your, your mixed pot of yeah. in there. And, and what's, what's the business yeah. called then? Uh, it's called Logmore. Logmore. Logmore, yeah. yeah. Logmore is actually, was a nightmare of a name to come up with. Mm. I, I was thinking for months about a name to call it and my father-in-law told me about a little field that was in my back garden the field my back garden basically that years ago they called it logmore but as soon as he said the name you got it i went that's it that's Great. the name i loved it as soon yeah. as i heard it so my father-in-law to be gave me that name yeah and business is good in general. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. up. I'm not at I'm not at it that long. I'm at it less than a year. Right. So but yeah. it's going that way. It's going up, up and right. up all the time. We'll continue success with Lovely. It. Thank Thanks. you very much, Henry. No, this is your old this, this is some of my own, yes. This is my therapy. Yeah, yeah. All <laughs> it, handmade. Yes, all handmade. I make everything here on those two tables myself. Yeah. I these are our unicorns. These are very, very popular. And they're made from a beautiful chenille wool. I'm a bit of a, of a yarn snob. I only buy, I don't mind if the yarn is expensive. If I like the feel of it, yes. I'll buy it and then I'll decide what I'll make out of it. These are all machine washable, tumble dryable. Throw them in. Yeah, which is what you need if they're for children. But they're for children and adults. Uh, Ernie, you're a local guide here and of course you're a great supporter of the indoor market. Oh, I am because I use this place as a halfway point for my tour, tour guides. But there's great toilet facilities there. There's a, such a variety of homemade foods. You can buy it and take it away, or you can sit down and eat it and have a leisurely chat yes. with family and friends. In fact, my grandchildren are over there, and my daughter, and there's a few friends, and uh, I meet friends every Saturday. I look forward to it, and any groups that come to the town, I bring them here to get them to feel what I feel. I feel very proud of my own place. And after all, it is a market town. It was a market town, and it still is a market town. And they're keeping up a tradition that's gone here officially for over 400 years. Congratulations, first of all, on being elected to the council. Thank Great you. achievement. Yeah, thanks, Mayor Henry. Hopefully, I'll be a good rep for the people. I want to thank everyone that voted for me. And look, it's all everyone working out together. It's a, it's a good yeah. town. We have to keep keep the projects going. So that's that's very involved in. Well, you're very involved in community events here, and this is a typical one now. The the indoor markets here in Casabar are just fairly new. But uh, you support your great supporter. Yeah, a good supporter of it. I think it's a great initiative. And again, it's all about what community, bringing a sense of community back into the town of Castlebar. Castlebar has always been a good town for community yeah. organisation. And this facility here at the Castlebar Voluntary Social Services mm. provides a great service. And just another addition to it at the weekends to be used for this. Mm. So again, I think this should be used more as a community hub. And this is exemplifies all about community. So I think it's a great issue. And with the tidy towns when we're out on Saturday mornings, we like to come in here and the, the treat is very well. So again, it's all community organisations working together. So I want to wish them all, Sandra and all the crew of, uh, involved in this great, and I encourage more people to use it. It's a great facility. Well, the official opening of the indoor markets here in Castlebar is about to be performed by the new Cahirlet of the Castlebar Municipal District, Councillor Michael Kilcoy. Three, two, one. You've brought a piece of Connemara to Castlebar. We have, and I believe that that is something very positive. Um, you know, South Mayo is so, it's just the same landscape as Connemara, and there is nowhere like Mayo. 
But we found an opportunity to come and set up a company in uh, Bal County Mayo. At the moment, you can reach us on uh, Connemara Handcrafted Glass on Facebook, and we're about to launch our website. Brilliant. It's going to be www.connemarahandcraftedglass.ie. Well, we wish you well. Then. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's you. a pleasure. So things are good. It's a fabulous day today, yeah. great. and the market here is great every week, so um, it's just a bit special today, I mm. think so. Lovely. Yeah, so I'll make it continue. Yeah. So we do a bit of everything. Mm. I started off with ceramics, and then I did a bit of stained glass, and then I, I sort of moved on to the jewellery. Mm. So and what's the business called again? Yeah. It's Liz Corti. Liz Corti. Liz Corti. Right, okay. And you're based in Foxford? I'm based in Foxford. Great, okay. As you can see, there's so much on offer here at the indoor markets in Castlebar. And I would advise you, if you're anywhere within 100 miles of the area, do come and pop in here to the Social Services Centre on Castle Street. And they're here, all these wonderful craftspeople are here every Saturday morning till about uh, 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So come along and enjoy everything that's on offer here. Now don't forget, after the break, we're heading over to Manchester to join Martin Logan, who's out and about once again with the Irish community right across the UK. And there will be a repeat of this programme on Saturday next at 8 o'clock. So that's it from us this week. Thank you for watching. Do join us next week at the same time. So until then, it's on the phone.